best thing if I could see the future. I just hope that we see. Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know an easier way with mathematics, of course. Let me introduce you to Fibonacci. One day he decided to calculate the expansion rate of rabbits. Yeah, that's right. He started counting rabbits and he got to this sequence. Each turn is the result of adding the two previous numbers, like this. And these numbers are everywhere, in the number of petals in a flower, tree branches, shells or art. Even using limits, you could get to the golden ratio by dividing a pair of consecutive Fibonacci numbers. They are related to what we consider beautiful, the way we think and how we take investing decisions. Also, asset prices move in relation to Fibonacci. The price of any asset moves in a zigzag. For example, every time the price makes a huge up movement, there's always a pullback that follows. You want to take advantage of this and buy an asset at the end of the pullback to capture the huge up movement. But how do we know that the pullback is over? Let's divide one Fibonacci number with the one that follows, with the next one and the next one. You'll get three percentages that indicate the possible location of the ends of the pullback. The direction of the previous trend is likely to continue, but the price of the asset usually retraces to one of the ratios list above before that happens. Mathematics is everywhere, make it work for you! Now I'm going to invest a little bit. <laughs>